Reaction time. Here's an old trick. If you can catch this note, you can keep it. Really? Whippy! But in the time it takes light to travel from the moving note to your eye, chemistry and your retina to convert light into an electric signal, the electric signal to travel down your nerves to your brain for your brain to recognise motion and then respond with an electric signal down another nerve to muscles in your hand and for the muscles to move, gravity has done its thing. The time it takes for people to react is called reaction time. So what? Reaction time is really important when driving cars as it results in a distance travelled before the driver hits the brakes. Twice the speed, twice the distance travelled before the car starts to stop. Reaction time is also key in sport. Professional sports people do exercises to reduce reaction time to give them an edge. So is reaction time faster with the dominant hand? That's the one that most comfortably holds a spoon or a pencil. Let's experiment! We need two people and a 30 centimetre ruler and ideally a copy of NPL's fab results sheet which is on our web page. Make one person dropper, the other Catcher. Catcher extends their forearm at elbow height with forefinger and thumb about one centimetre apart. Dropper holds the ruler at the top over the 30 centimetre mark at a height so that Catcher has their thumb and forefinger either side of the zero centimetre mark. Catcher says when they are ready. Dropper then counts up in their head to a number between three and five using a different number each time. When the number is reached, they drop the ruler. Catcher catches the ruler as fast as possible by pinching it between forefinger and thumb. Write down the ruler centimetre value closest to Catcher's pinch point. Ignore any times Catcher fails to catch the ruler. NPL's results sheet, which you can download from our webpage, will help you record and calculate results. Convert drop distances to reaction times using the lookup table. Repeat the experiment using Catcher's other hand. Label results dominant hand and non-dominant hand where the dominant hand is the one that more comfortably holds a spoon or pencil. Swap Catcher and Dropper rolls to get even more results. Although the main result is comparing the average drop times for dominant and non-dominant hands, it's also useful to see the range of results too, so subtract shortest times from longest times to find your range. This experiment is brought to you by the second and the meter. Share your results with us using the web page so that we can build up a picture from lots of people. If you like, Share your age with us so we can investigate if that is a factor. Thanks for watching.